And right now, the average American is in more than ninety six thousand dollars in debt, according to 2021 tax data. It's not surprising when the cost of everything is going up. But despite all of that, a Clayton County woman says she paid off seventy five thousand dollars in three years. She shows our 11 Alive Savannah Levins how she did it and how you can do it, too. You know, I came from low income background. My mom, she was a single parent. We would see her struggle a lot financially. Even as a child, Renee Whaley knew what it was like to count every penny. I can remember my mom literally on her hands and knees washing our clothes in the tub. Subconsciously, I was thinking, I don't want to do this. And she would tell us, do better than me. Renee took that to heart, going to college, marrying her high school sweetheart, buying a home, having two sons. But the bills piled up. I've always closely managed my dollars. But despite even doing that, I still ended up, you know, in $75,000 worth of debt. And this is not including the, the mortgage. It just piled on. I wasn't paying attention. So she set out to pay it off with a realistic budget. I have a line item for everything, for grocery, fuel. We did have a line item for entertainment. We just stuck to that, and that was really what propelled us. But her secret is tackling what she calls the debt snowball. And I just kind of wrote them all out, lowest to highest. Say we were paying $100 a month to the credit card company. Once that, that was paid off, we would take that $100 and add it to the next payment. And in three years, she'd paid off the 75000 That was a freeing moment. <laughs> Experts suggest getting a personal loan to apply to your debts with higher interest rates. That's called debt consolidation. You can also move your credit card debt to a balance transfer card, which offers 0% APR for anywhere from six months to over a year, allowing you to tackle your debt without losing money to interest. For students, Renee suggests aggressively seeking scholarships, and now she's sharing her secrets in a new book, hoping to help others. People really think that they can't do this. But I didn't, I didn't have an inheritance. I didn't win the lottery. And I was able to take this journey. And I think that others can, can do the same thing. That is pretty impressive. And we have more tips on saving and paying off debt on 11alive.com. Just look for this story.